the reason why I said people should write their obituaries in my trainings is just to get, I got that inspiration from Alfred Nobel. Alfred Nobel uh, was uh, a, a businessman that, dealt, that was dealing with production of weapons, weapons of mass destruction that, you know, for war and for military. So when he died, when, you know, before he died, somebody, uh, his brother died. And when his brother died, somebody mistakenly thought that it was Alfred that died. So they put out an obituary about him. And in that obituary, they put his biography and said, this, this man that is producing uh, weapons of destruction to kill people and making his money on blood has finally died. Thank God that now the world will become a better place because he died. So when he read that story, wow. he was so broken. He said, eh, thank wow. God it's not me who died for real. So this is the way the world will have remembered me. Wow. And he said, no, from now on, I will change my history. And he began to mm. change his direction, began to use his money to you know, do invention, discovery, something that will better humanity. And that's why all his wealth, he gave them to his foundation, uh, Nobel, no, Nobel, Albert, no, Nobel Foundation that is working up to now and is still the most prestigious international award that, gives, mm. that they give to people because they, of what they have contributed wow. to humanity wow. because of that obituary. So I'm saying picture your obituary, how people will see you, what people will say if they will not lie after your death. Let's, let's see what those, if, you can, if it's not the thing you have liked, change it now before it's too late.